Hey there people, welcome back to the EgoByte 83 channel where the past never dies. I am of course your host EgoByte and yes we are back to Archive 64 as always this Tuesday. Um, yeah, so we're gonna be uh, going right back into the game for some news updates in case you didn't follow uh, on my uh, Discord or on my Twitter. We have now been able to uh, uh, get the first confirmation of a successful cam spy in Perfect Dark. That is awesome! Apparently, uh, it was a faulty ROM. So uh, now there, we should be good to go. Everything should be uh, everything should be working. I don't want to swear by it though, but let's let's just see where this gets us. All right. Um, so last time we had actually uh, uh, we had actually um, uh, saved Daniel Carrington of the Carrington Institute, and now we are going to uh, get back into the game. What do you say? What do you say? As always. Feel free to give me feedback if the stream is performing uh, adequately or not. Um, that's always appreciated. Alright, so let's just see if we can open up the game here, shall we? Here we go. <sighs> Alright, and tonight I am drinking... Coca-Cola Zero. Talk about product placement. <laughs> ah. Perfect Dark. One of my all-time favorites for the N Nintendo 64. Let's see. There we go. Cables, cables, cables. So, as always, yeah, I know, that's just the intro, it flickers. Um, as always, if you feel uh, like you want to, just uh, hit me up with a chat, and I'll respond to everybody who uh, writes to me. I always enjoy chatting up with my viewers. Alright, let's see here. Uh, yeah, that's our save file. I actually haven't checked out these uh, different options. It was such a long time ago since I played this game. Um, yeah, Combat Simulator I think I was really into uh, when I played my physical copy. I was like always sitting at home uh, just playing the shit out of it. I don't know why it was... it was so entertaining. Like even after the story was done, Combat Simulator was just... you didn't even have to have like other people. You, you just... Go for it. Cooperative, counteroperative. All right. So we are going for the third mission, which is Chicago. This is a stealth mission. Let's see here. Um, retreat drop point equipment. Create vehicular diversion. Gain entry to G5 building. Briefing. The G5 Corporation is believed to be a front for data dying. Care is needed due to the civilian presence on the streets. Expect intense resistance outside and inside the building. Our recon team reported that the build-up build of troops started hours ago. Remember, Joanna, your urban combat training. It will come in very useful. It will come in very useful. It will be very useful. If the situation hasn't changed since the recon team's earlier. One more thing, Joanna. There's a security robot patrolling the street. Stay away from it at all. Uh, if not, uh, <laughs> stay away from it if at all possible. Objective one, retrieve drop point equipment. The recon team we sent in while you were in transit left a small package of equipment for you. It in one of the storm drains, it has just about everything you will need to complete the mission objectives. Objective two, create vehicular diversion. Any disturbance will attract attention from the guards in the area, but this can be used to your advantage. Reprogram the autopilot guidance computer on the cab to cause it to crash nearby. Funny how they know there's going to be a cab there. Hmm. Alright. Objective, th uh, objective 3. Gain entry to D5 building. 
One of the guards by the lift entrance is in charge of a control panel that will, lo that will lock the lift doors, denying access instantly. The diversion caused by the crashing cab should draw that guard and the others in out into the street, leaving the way open. And remember, don't harm any civilians. Interesting thing, I think actually, if I, I recall that this mission, like outside the Chicago, outside the uh, G5 building in Chicago, uh, was actually a mission I think I got stuck on. I don't know if I, like, didn't know what to do or whatever. It's gonna be interesting to relive this, so, uh, let's suit up, get to work. One for the road. <clears throat> yeah, it's gonna flicker during the intro. Just who is this help you keep referring to? Not now, Joanna. Time for radio silence. Good luck. Thanks a lot. Now I did do some testing of this uh, yesterday. Everything looked fine, so we'll see what happens when we uh, when we start the gameplay here. All right, this is where we came from. That's right. Whoop! Oh, that's a civilian. How's it going? Hey, nice to see you too. Um, oh, he's CIA. Whoa! What the? F hey, Mr. CIA man, could you help me? Oh, really? Let's disarm this guy. My <clears> gun. <throat> Ah! Shit, he can't be allowed to reach the alarm. Look, the CIA guy is just like... Oh, there was actually a... Come on. Come on. Maybe not. Oh, that's the CIA guy. Oh, shit. Jesus! Alright, let's get out of here. Now, I need to kind of know... I'm just going back here to catch my breath. Um, could I jump or... No, I don't think I could. I just need to play around a little bit with the controls. Uh, yes, this is reloading. This is... Oh, we gotta s go... Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, this is steering, this is aiming, this is firing, this is moving. Alright, okay, so we can't jump. Not uncommon with the games of this era. At least, some of them. Like, even Ocarina of Time, you couldn't jump in there. You could, you could only, like, do... You could only roll forward. Oh. Give me more ammo. Thank you. Uh. Classic sound. I think that's the same... Oh, oh, crap! Oh, f it has like sh oh shit! It has shields. No 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 no! Man, I completely forgot about that thing. No, don't worry, I don't want any trouble either. Jesus. Yeah. Let's do that over, shall we? Sorry, man, whose family I just made completely 
I just broke. Yeah, okay. Um, now, yeah, remember last time we saw that uh, blonde character? Reading, citizen. One hint is that. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, the flicker is going to. Uh, it's not going to be uh, persistent, but sometimes it's going to occur. I don't really know if it's like excessive movement that causes it, something like that. Um, but I don't think it's going to be that big of a problem uh, because it doesn't remain. Uh, I need to think a little bit here. Oh, bop, 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 bop. oh this, there's the storm drain, by the way. Oh, for fuck's sake! There we go. Oh, shit. Oh, come on! And you call yourself... Yourselves agency, guys. Now the storm drain, I wonder if it's this. Yes, I think it is. I think, huh? Oh, right. That's how you crouch. Just remembered. Oh. This reminds me a little bit of Duke Nukem, actually. Ah, there it is. There we go. Oh, shit! Yeah, you can't see me now. Can't see me! Alright, so we got the remote mine. Look at that. Okay, okay. Got it, got it. Yes, well, um, maybe I should explain to anybody who's new that I am actually, uh, I am very, very familiar with this game, but I haven't played it in 15 years. Jesus. Ish. But I think it's at least 15 years. And you tend to forget some things, especially me. So I wonder if it was this cab I was supposed to reprogram. Reprogram that taxi. Yeah, okay. It's Mark II and should be compatible. Right, let me get out of here. There we go. Go for it. Oh, 
Oh, that's right. You know what? It actually crashes into that thing. Not now, but I think I think later up ahead. Because right now it has shields, and I can't take them down. I don't think so. Right? Oh, this is an. Oh, this is. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Who's this? You know what? I don't even know where I am right now. I don't remember this place. Yeah, apparently you can't get any further. And now we missed the whole explosion. Unfortunately. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I never liked that robot anyway. That's how you do it. <laughs> yeah, the CMP 150 makes it a little bit too easy. Certain certain levels, um, especially with the secondary. I mean, why anybody would want to have the CMP 150 in primary mode? I have no idea. Wh why? Like. It's it's completely useless. Secondary mode is where it's where it's at. That's that basically makes you kind of overpowered. <laughs> but I mean, it's in the game. Ah. Okay. Uh. You know what? I, I I think I'm supposed to use the remote mine here, but I don't. No, I didn't have to do that. It was only in case of uh, doing this mission on a harder difficulty, like secret agent or perfect agent or whatever. New cheat available: DK mode. Oh, that's a classic. That's a rare classic. Ah. So let's see if uh, any of the old guys appear in the chat. Let's see if Zookster, Fartknocker, Freppy, if CNET, if anybody shows up. For now, let's continue with the missions, shall we? Holograph uh, meeting conspirators. Retrieve Dr. Carol back up from safe. Exit building. All right. Once inside G5 headquarters, proceed into the heart of the building where the meeting should be taking place. Obtain a visual record of the meeting and get out as quickly as possible. The G5 building has an integrated alarm system. Watch out for any guards who see you as they sh they're sure to try to activate it. This will alert the conspirators who will almost certainly not go ahead with the meeting under such circumstances. Softly, softly, Joanna. <laughs> okay. Um... Cam spy device is an excellent way to record the meeting without alerting the without alerting DeVries and the other conspirators. Dr. Carroll informed Daniel of a backup personality that is stored in a safe in the G5 building. If we can obtain it, it would mean that we could restore the personality to Dr. Carroll at a later date. Well, that's good. Destroy the blocked up door to create your exit. If you remember which level of the fire escape. If you remember which level of the fire escape is outside, you may save yourself some time. So oh, you may save yourself some time. Okay. No, I'm sorry, I don't remember that. <laughs> you know. Now this is a perfect level to test the cam spy. It should be. There should be no complications. Hopefully. Let's see what happens. That is so pointless! <laughs> that, oh my god, okay. Well, like they didn't see you. And, and they're just gonna... 
Oh, okay. Good. Alright. Oh, shh. Hold on. Where's the other guy? There he is. Oh! Oh, he's, he's cloaked! Really? Yeah. He is. That's cool. I didn't remember that at all. That they actually cloaked. Awesome. Alright, secondary CMP-150 is, is back in action. I mean, this game has tons of weapons, and I do have other favorites. CMP-150, at least during the earlier stages, the earlier missions, um, it's basically your go-to gun. Uh, no, I wasn't. No. So this is the car park. Very narrow car park, I have to say. Ah! Stop it. There you go. Good. Okay, it's already done. I guess. Uh, I'm just gonna check. I'm just checking the stream. A little bit. Yeah, looks good. Alright. I probably should do that, like, right when I go online. I think we're supposed to go that way. I just want to look around a little bit here. See if there's anything else here. It's a very, very tight car uh, parking garage, I have to say. Hey, hey, Fudge and Duck. Welcome back, man. Thanks for the show. Thanks for the host, I mean. What? Oh, crap. One more. Ha! Ah. Oh, there's still one more? Really? There we go. So how are you, Fudge and Duck? Mr. Duckmeister! What are you doing? What have you been doing today? And welcome back. Who the hell is your word? Oh, for fuck! Yeah, don't let them get to the alarm! Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, where... Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Jesus. Yeah, okay, so we cannot let people get to the alarms, to these things. These things. Okay, they actually say alarm. Let's just see if we can. Snake rattle and roll on Sunday. I don't think so, man. Did that last Sunday, and. Yeah, I don't need to play that game again. <laughs> if you saw what happened. Oh, you know what? I actually think I'm supposed to go along the ducts. Catwalks.
I wonder if I should take him out or if that will just spell problems for me. I don't remember. Must be the meeting room up ahead. Time to use the cam spy. All right, guys, here we go. Let's launch the cam spy. Which actually works, even though it is flickering, but it isn't dark anymore. Let's see what happens. We've recovered the sapient from Carrington and altered its programming. It no longer has a personality, so there will be no further incidents. This will reduce its efficiency. My team will have to take it to the core themselves. This will endanger them. You should have anticipated that the sapient might develop a troublesome moral code. No one could have predicted that, and I resent being singled out for blame. What about him? The president turned down your request for the loan of the Pelagic II. Could it be you overestimated your influence over him? No. Perhaps I underestimated his resolve. We have a contingency plan ready to go. And we will move as soon as the presidential honorash arrives at the airbase. Honorash? All I need from the president is a tissue sample. <laughs> Assuming you don't get any interference. If Carrington has pieced together enough of this, he will have called for reinforcements. There will be no outside help from Mr. Carrington. The technology you gave us is installed in Nevada and fully operational. We can intercept any craft they use. Then the devices we gave you are working correctly. Good, because we believe anything which does not work correctly should be destroyed. Consider that as you follow your backup plans. Ooh. Creepy. Did you hear him actually uh, shift his voice a little bit? <laughs> Laughed so in hell but when you were at the last boss. I mean, seriously, Mr. Duck. You saw, you saw that I was, I was on that. I don't want to say fucker, but you saw. I should have won. That was unbelievably unfair. Oh, I can't get in there, okay. Wait, are we done here? Retrieve Dr. Carol, oh, right. Retrieve Dr. Carol backup. Yeah, okay. Uh-oh. Yeah, that game. I, I actually I was very surprised that it was that it would be that hard. I I thought it would be like you know this cutesy bubble bobble type game, but no, it was really really um, uh, really difficult, extremely difficult. I mean, you saw me fighting up along the ice. Unbelievable. Alright, here we go! One the other. Oh shit, there was one. No! Well, actually... There we go. Jeez, Good. As long as the alarm is... No. No, you haven't. There we go. Just make him come to us. A game to give nightmares. Oh, yes, I agree, I agree. That was horrible. Oh! There we go. What the? Ah! Hey, I got a magnum. What did I miss? Classic. A rare classic. Shot him in the shoulder. Now, I am supposed to go this 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 way, right? All right, single shot, pistol whip. Oh, oh. oh come on! Come 
gun. My gun. Okay. Completely unnecessary to use the magnum here. What the hell? Kind of need to find. Oh, headshot! I mean, they're just, they just keep coming. This is... I've got a clear shot. Wipe her. Did you hear that? I actually I don't annoyed. really know where I'm supposed to go right now. I don't remember. Uh oh, this is not good. Waster. Waster. Ah, this is the fire escape. I see, I see. Okay, 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 okay. So. Oh, shh. My gun! Now, if they come pouring up the stairs here, I'm going to just, um, I'm going to clean them out and just stock up on ammo. I don't think I can do that anyway, but... After oh. picked up some magnum bolts. Oh, both. Oh. oh, really? I shot him in the groin. Oh, come on! You weren't even close. Oh, we're just gonna have to do this. We're just gonna have to... Open. There we go. Good. Stand back, Joanna. We'll clean your feet. Yeah, I know where it is. Stop. 
stand back to an oh what oh 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 I get it I get it I get it it's actually here I think there it is awesome objective three completed Reporting in. Prepare to receive a download of the meeting data. Priority request from Institute support team to protect the president before he goes to Alaska. No time for that now, Agent Dark. There's been a development during radio silence. Oh. The crap carrying those friends I was talking about was shot down over Nevada. The weapon responsible was fired from Area 51. That's where the survivors and debris will have been taken. You're to prep for immediate dispatch when you return here. Coming to now. Area 51? But what about the president? Alright, perfect. That's how we do it. Craft Carrying Institute advisors has been shot down in Nevada. Debris from the crash and, and the bodies of the, the advisors have been taken to Area 51. A spy inside the base has managed to get footage uh, to the Institute of a possible survivor. This mission is to rescue that survivor. This is a disaster for us, Joanna. We need to get your, our ally out, out of there before it co comes too late. And there was some special equipment inside the craft as well, which must not remain in Trent Easton's clutches. You'll have some support on this mission in the form of our spy inside Area 51, who's disguised as a god. Sorry for butchering the Scottish accent. <laughs> This device was capable of penetrating the stealth shielding of our allies' craft so that the robot interceptors could be vectored in to bring them down. If your escape is to be successful, you must destroy the radar control unit with the explosives, and it will likely be hidden underground surrounded by lots of mainframes. Frames. Shut down air intercept radar. Gain access to hangar lift. Going, through, going in through the foot entrance would be suicide. So direct your attention to the hangar lift instead. Our spy reports that you need a key card to operate the lift and that a maintenance technician will be your best bet to find one. All right. Make contact with agent. Our agent will be dressed as a guard. It means he cannot stray too far from his posting inside the base without attracting attention. So it's up to you to find him. He's stationed in one of the main one of the two main hangar levels, which is unfortunately as specific as we can be. Mission accepted. So, Fudging Duck, have you ever played this game, by the way? Have you ever played Perfect Dark? Okay, Joanna, take a look at this. Our operative inside Area 51 was able to get this out to us. It's a little frickle this flickery. This is your entry point, a deserted helipad on the edge of the base. The lift down to the hangars and the rendezvous point is beyond that wall. Watch out for these guards. All right. Here's the communications antenna. Attach a comms rider bug so we can talk to you Jeez. when you're inside the base. Okay. Again, watch out for hostiles. Oh my god. <gasps> Here is our friend. He appears to be physically in hurt, though he hasn't regained consciousness yet. By the look of it, the surgeons are almost done with their preliminary tests and will begin dissection soon. But who was... Any questions? No. Good. <laughs> Away you go to the hangar. Yeah, this flickering is a little bit queasy. Against my better judgment, it makes me queasy. I'm about to enter Area 51. So there are aliens involved, apparently. Uh, you guys are guards, right? Uh, we're only, we only have the Falcon and explosives. All right. For fuck's sake. No! Good. Ooh, the magsec. Let me see. Oh, that's yeah. Uh, magsec. Nothing special. 
It's actually not really that good of a gun. Secondary mode is a three round burst, but I mean... But I mean, we might as well use the mag sec because that's what we're going to be uh, picking up. So we can actually use uh, that ammo. Yeah, I see it. I see it. Oh my god, that is so inaccurate. Oh, you don't have a scope for this? Come on. I know it's supposed to... Oh! No, 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 no. I know we're supposed to be able to, uh... There you go. Good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like, I, I don't know if I'm hitting the edge of the wall, or... There we go. Good. Alright. I think I'm gonna stay with the Falcon until I run out of ammo for it. Because it's uh, it's actually a lot more accurate. Um... Yeah, okay. I really don't like the look of those guards. I don't remember if you... Grenade. Maybe I should throw a grenade up there. Oh! Oh, they actually died from that. Nice. Good. Let's see, were there any, um... Considering the low resolution, it's like, bam, damn boy. Oh, I actually, ha! <laughs> I took out the door controls. Maybe not the best approach. Oh, right. Ah, look at this. Oh. Oh, 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 minefield, minefield, minefield. Well, the mines should be cleared now, right? Ah! <coughs> hey, I got a rocket launcher. But I don't, somehow I don't, I doubt that's the way you do that. You're supposed to do something else. I maybe throw a grenade in there or something. And I actually do have one left. <coughs> Get over here. Uh, we can. I think we actually can use the mag sec here. I don't want to waste the rockets. Okay. This is going to... There we go. Good. I mean, if you don't need to be accurate, then you can use the mag sec.
that desperately thank you so we got some drone bikes here and we have got a personal bike um uh, you know what i'm i think i'm supposed to do here uh explosives Oh, maybe I'm supposed to... I don't know. No, no. Maybe I'm just supposed to take them out. Or take it out. Oh! <laughs> Checking the objectives once more. Um, yeah, okay. Um, there we go. The divine. Um, uh, give it up and read. If your escape is. Must destroy the radar control unit with the explosives, and it will likely be hidden underground, surrounded by lots of mainframes. Okay, okay. But why is there, like, a control? To lower and raise the antenna. I don't remember that. I don't. I don't get it. Like, seriously, don't get it. Okay, stop it. I know we're supposed to get be able to get on there. There we go. I don't know why. I have to this day I've never really understood why we need this in the game. But I actually think you can Hold on. Door's locked. Do it. Okay, um, Uh... 
I don't really know where to go from here, actually, if I'm honest. I may have screwed up something. Or, or maybe, <laughs> maybe I'm just not supposed to use the bike. I don't know. No, the door is still locked. I don't remember. No, 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 no. You don't need to do that. Well, there's nothing there. There's just a wall. And by the way, where did these guys come from? And I still can't open anything because this is... Yeah. Did I screw something up? Like... I think I did actually. Okay. Let's try to let's try to restart. I think what you're supposed to do is kill those guards without destroying the con the control because if you if you uh, if the control still works, you can actually open and close the gate. Now there's no way to do that, so I think I need to redo this. That is my uh, hypothesis anyway. Let's try that. Oh, yeah. Okay, Joanna, take a look at this. Our operative inside Area 51 was able to get... It's a little bit annoying with this flickering. This is your entry point. A deserted but. helipad on the edge of the base. The lift down to the hangars and the rendezvous point is beyond that wall. Oh! These guards. Oh! Here's the communications and... I got it. Attach a comms rider bug so we can talk to you when you're inside the base. I understand. Again, watch out for hostile. Okay, comms... Got it. Got it. Got it. So, in short, the antenna is a st is strictly uh, a higher difficulty objective. I don't even ha I don't have to go down to the antenna at all. Uh, the only thing I need to do is shut down air intercept radar, which already was confirmed that I'm going to do that underground. Uh, gain access to hangar lift. That's what I'm supposed to do. Be uh, on the other side of the wall. Make contact with... Yeah, okay. Ah! Oh. Mm -hmm. Who the... I wish I had a scope or something here. Alright, you know what? Let's have them come down to us. Come on. All the while maintaining the control in perfect working order. Oh! Cover me! Oh. 
Now, I remember most of these missions weren't really that difficult, except for the last mission, the very last mission. It wasn't really hard, hard, but I think, and this, this is just me speculating because I don't really remember, uh, but I think it could have something to do with me trying to beat it on like a higher difficulty. Uh, because you, ha you actually have to time it. You have to do it within a certain time limit. And I think the last mission was really such a pain to do uh, in that manner. Alright, open the door. Perfect. And also... I want... Okay. Let's try a grenade, shall we? Okay. Very good. Not that you really... I don't even know if you need the rocket launcher that much, but... Yeah. Also, I think I'm gonna... I wanna double. Nah, that's just too much hassle. Do this instead. Do, 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 do. I didn't know that was on a timer. Jesus. Sorry. But I need that. Ah. Wait, there are turrets over there as well, right? Yeah, I can't jump on that. Ah, lift key card. Nice. Whoa! Oh, no, you don't. Oh, right, I actually destroy the things in here. I just noticed something. Actually, no! I did not. Uh, but I did notice something. Um, I say the word actually very much. I say that a lot. I don't know why. I'm overusing it, I know. It's just become such... It's come become sort of a habit. Like I wanna, I wanna, un, I wanna overstate everything. Oh, I actually could go in here. <laughs> I didn't need to. Oh, I didn't need to uh, start the level over. Uh, but I always wanna like emphasize what I'm saying, and so I tend to use the word actually because because that, like, use the use the word actually for everything I say. That's a bad habit of mine. I know that. I actually know that. <laughs> I'm such a such a bad individual. I'm just gonna check around, see that we don't get any nasty surprises. There we go.
dragon. Yes. Holy shit. No, no. That's unnecessary. Come on. Shooting fish in a barrel. As I said before in the uh, last episode, the dragon is probably one of my favorite weapons in um, in this game. Uh, another one is the Super Dragon, which is the upgraded version of the dragon uh, that actually actually uh, has a grenade launcher as well. <clears throat> so it has two. So, yeah, I think the Super Dragon is is more my favorite, but still. Dragon was my first favorite uh, weapon in this game. Uh, because of its rapid fire alongside uh, its impressive uh, capacity, uh, ammunition capacity, the magazine size, the clip size, if you will. Um, it's one of my favorite weapons. There are like a couple more. Um, I think, yes, actually, the uh, Magsec is probably my least favorite weapon because it's pretty pitiful. It has a pitiful magazine, magazine size, or ammo size. Uh, it has. It's, it has uh, um, yeah, okay you can dual wield it or double wield it but I mean again it's secondary mode function is a simple three three round burst it's it's a pitiful weapon I in my opinion I mean at least considering the fact that there are other much much better weapons in this game. Uh, also, the Dragon is an awesome assault rifle. The only problem with it is that the secondary mode is a proximity mine function. And that... Okay. Um, that, of course, naturally destroys the gun. Um, that's why I like the Super Dragon uh, better. And then you have, in a while, spoiler, uh, we're going to have access to alien weaponry as well. And those do serve a pretty interesting function, like the secondary functions. They're a little bit special. Careful with that trigger finger, Agent Dark. You're closing in on my position. Oh, really? Come here. Yeah, that's not him. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh. You know what? It, it was difficult to adjust a little bit. It was uh, not difficult, actually. It, it was uh, it was uh, a challenge to, to adjust to uh, to the old controls. Uh, but oh, I think that may be him. No, it's not. No, it's not him. Um, yeah, you meet him in a cutscene. That's true. But I wanted to say. Now I'm actually getting getting used to the controls again. 
like the memory reflexes, the muscle reflexes of um, of the of 15 years ago are actually coming back to me. The muscle memory. This is actually good just to uh, get some ammo. Stop saying actually. <laughs> this is very good. <laughs> Everything's looking good. Good with the stream. Yes, it is good. Good, 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 good. good. So the question is here. Where do we go? I think we're supposed to go this way. Okay. Uh Oh that way. There we go. Agent Dark. There you are. I was beginning to wonder if... If what? If you'd been discovered yet. And frankly, if this is how you work, I'm amazed that you lasted longer than five minutes. I was tidying up one of your loose ends. My loose ends? I'm sorry. I didn't realize you wanted him to shoot you. I can call in some more guards if you like. Okay, okay. Forget about it. I'm going to let the Institute know we've made contact. Alright. Let's keep going. Craft Carrying Institute. Uh, yes, we've seen that. Uh, you need to cover our tracks and rescue our friend as fast as you can. A disguise will help you do that, but it won't last forever. So make good use of it. Wipe out the records and make sure there are no more survivors we are unaware of. Uh, time is pressing, so hurry. Like, I'm giving up this kind of act. Obtain and use lab technician disguise. Find a lab technician's outfit and use it to get past the security. Once you have, move fast since th the theft won't go unnoticed for long. A premature autopsy will soon be taking place in one of the secure medical laboratories. Uh, it will be locked to those without clearance, so get a card with the appropriate level to get in. Not all cards will work, and there may be door guards as well. Uh, gain access to autopsy lab. Okay. Uh, once you're in the lab, you'll have to get into the autopsy chamber before any harm comes to the subject. The scientists will try to kill him if they think he's alive, or will attempt to damage what they think is a corpse as soon as they see you. Yet again, speed is vital. Alright, let's do that. The problem you have is that there is no way to sneak into the research section. The only way in available to you is a weak section of wall like marked in the room beyond the stores. It can be destroyed with explosives. Doesn't sound like a problem to me. Where are these explosives? In that crate. Cute. Very cute. By the way, the stores are crawling with guards. It may go against your nature All right. sneaking through rather than blasting everything. Certainly. Any other pearls of wisdom? That crate. Yes. It really doesn't like being shut. Alright, now if I can just fight the urge to report him to base security. <laughs> so, if I remember correctly, we need to bring that crate to the wall where... Um, where you're supposed to blow up the wall. Now, as he said, this crate is very volatile. If if it gets shot, it gets destroyed, and you have no I no possible way of getting it. Whoa! Hey, hey, hey! Thank you for the raid fortifier. Nice. A nice surprise. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, and welcome to one and all, all in one, in this uh, channel. This is uh, this is me just doing a casual gameplay of Perfect Dark. Pretty easy, uh, pretty easy um, difficulty here. right now. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> ah! Shit. <laughs> Figured I I would mess up. Ah! Stop that. Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> Alright, let's see. <laughs> fire, fire, raid! Awesome. Ah! Jesus. I guess you're, n you're not supposed to panic when you're a secret agent. Like... <laughs> Uh, what was that? That was, uh, I think, like, explosive canisters or something. I don't know, let's, let's, let's try shooting it. I was right, I was right. Oh, and beneath the exploding thingamajig, there is, well, look at that. <laughs> Hello, paisanos, dude, Shadow of the Empire is fucking... My ass ro really? Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't supposed. <laughs> I don't. I shouldn't say really. Like, it's a surprise because I actually don't know how hard that game is. Um, I don't really have any hands-on experience with that game. Oh, thank you, Thievery Eight, for the follow. Hope to see more of you in the future. <laughs> it's a good day show. I def. <laughs> well. Thank you. Bye, man. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So my my tactic should be. Oh no no, 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 no! My tactic should be to clear out all this, uh, all these guards before I move the explode. Up oh. before I move the exploding crate. Uh, explosive. <laughs> Thanks, Game Tremor. I'm I aim to keep my channel as uh, retro as possible. At least retro in that sense that it um, has a lot to do with my with games from my childhood. And SimCity happens to be one of them. As does this. Or as is this. Perfect dark. Alright, so... If I remember... Hey! Thanks, Game Tremor! Welcome to the show! Thank you for the follow. I think... Uh, I think... We're done here. Should I risk it? It was a great stream. Oh, thank you, Fortifier. <laughs> thank you, thank you. That that really warms my heart, you know. <laughs> I'm getting all blushy, you know. <laughs> it is something I do. It. What can I say? Awesome. <laughs> all right. Uh. Now the question is, was I supposed to go there, that way, or that way? I don't remember. It's been 15 years since I played this game. Um, Alright, we need the crate at the very least. Yep, yeah, okay. Get down. There we go. Cheers, by the way. The commanding presence. <laughs> he has a strong chin. Are you talking about me or Fortifier? <laughs> Unwavering persistence to attempt to beat CV3. Oh, okay, okay. Got it. Okay, come on. How did you actually... I know you can grip this. Like, you can, you can grab a hold of the crate. There you go. Now, 
as tempting as it seems to use this crate as cover, like mobile cover, you really shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> because it is, uh, it's very explosive and very, very volatile. So, yeah, okay. Come on. Alright, so what have you guys been doing today? Have you all had a great Tuesday? Eh. Let go. There we go. Oh, I didn't need to. Oh, okay. Come on. Ah! Oh, okay. I always think I need to double tap this. But apparently I don't. Hey, <laughs> the spinning crate. Um... I don't think it's this way. Uh, 15 years? Wow, has it been that long? Yeah, <laughs> you and me both, buddy. I was playing Shadows of the Empire going through games. I rage quit. <laughs> okay. I feel you, man. This past Sunday, I actually had my 8-Bit Fun Day web series. And I played a little game called Snake, Rattle, and Roll for the NES. Man, that game was so evil. It kicked my ass. And even though I was persistent and really, like, I was really hanging on there with the obstinacy, I couldn't beat the last boss. It was so... I mean, you really had to mash the button and be precise, and I couldn't do that. But at, at least I made it to the final boss. Ugh. Uh, I'm at work, so meh, not complaining, I can watch Twitch while I work. That's awesome! <laughs> I had to go to bed, I'm back on nights for a few more days, then I'll be headed back to day shift. Oh, okay. Get easy, you go by at 83 and have a phenomenal stream. Thank you, man, and thank you for the rate, and you're always welcome back. You know that. Um, I like snake, rattle, and roll. You did? <laughs> okay, I didn't. Well, actually, I did in in the beginning. Or at the beginning. Um, yeah, awesome, awesome. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I am actually supposed to go there, I think. So, what about this door? Like, when there are two options... Uh, okay, now there's only one option. Good. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, before we do anything, yeah, clear out the next area, shall we? Why does this look so good? Y you mean the game? Perfect Dark never looks this good for me. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know. I mean, if you're talking about the, uh, uh, that's right, actually. I, th oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. <laughs> like, I'm using stealth, fi uh, like, handguns, and just shooting them off left and right. I have to, I have to laugh at myself sometimes. What? 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 Oh, shit! Oh, that's right, there's an elevator here. I completely forgot about that. Uh, as you're... Like, reuniting with... Uh, like, getting to know the game again. Uh, some things just... Uh, okay. That was a proximity mine. I actually didn't know that NPCs could activate the uh, secondary mode. <gasps> no, you don't, you... Leave my crate alone. What? You're not supposed to be alive. There are more people here! They're all dead. Alright, you know what? Uh, no, 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 it's emulated. The problem is, I mean, I got the real copy uh, over there. Uh, but uh, the, pro the real problem was that I couldn't get the cam spy function to work. Perfect Dark in its emulated state was, or is, I should say, 
very graphically complicated. Uh, so the last episode had me working with a completely faulty cam spy. I couldn't use it at all. Now I actually downloaded a better version, uh, which had a working cam spy, which was, thank God. Um, didn't I? Did, didn't I leave him alive? Oh! Is he humping the wall? What? Oh, no you don't. Ah! That's what you get for humping the... The door, I should say. Oh, he's dead. Okay, good. Alright. Um... I was gonna say, I've never seen that. It's clear. Uh, I don't know if it's the ROM. Uh, this is uh, version 1.1. I, I don't know if somebody's done anything to it. But at least I know the cam spy's working. The night vision is working. So they must have done something to the, you know, the visual... Um, um, the visual... Like the uh, the visual aspects, um, graphical certain graphical bugs have been fixed, but certain bugs remain, uh, such as the intro to some missions uh, kind of flickers a lot, uh, and also the cam spy does flicker um, more than necessary. Uh, but at least I can see what I'm doing right now. Uh, you know, rare down there games right when it's the console that downgrade the graphics. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's true. All right, before we uh, bring the crate out here, once more, let's just see. There's no guard here or anything. No. Okay. Let's go. And the uh, golden eye feeling doesn't go away from this game. I mean, this is supposed to be sort of like a s not a spiritual successor, but like at least not a spiritual sequel, sequel, but a spiritual successor, I guess you can call it. Um, it's basically the same engine and whatnot, so it's awesome. I actually like this game better, uh, more than uh, uh, GoldenEye. GoldenEye, as much as GoldenEye started it, this game definitely perfected it. Hold on. Eh. Yeah, okay. So, where's the door? Or, no. Excuse me. I just remembered. I'm supposed to blow up, blow up the wall. That's true. <laughs> like, where's the door? I... I actually marked the wall for you, okay. <laughs> uh, let me see. If we can find the wall. There it is. You marked it with an X. X marks the spot. Alright, so... I don't think I need a detonator or something, right? Did I blink? X-ray scan? Oh, what? Oh, yeah, this is great. <laughs> well, actually, it works. At least it works. It's just like the night vision. This is the amount of flickering we're gonna get with uh, cam spy and night vision and X-ray X -ray scan. Uh, but at least I can see somewhat. We don't need to use it now, though. For uh, example, Gran Turismo on emulator or Bleemcast look much better since the PS1 downgrade. The textures. Interesting. <laughs> Alright, so I guess I'm just supposed to shoot the crate. I don't remember, but I think that was the case. So here we go. Yes! Awesome. Oh, I should have waited until the, that other guy was here. Oh! Close. 
All right, you know what? Before we head into the lab itself, I just want to scout out the uh, possible uh, exit routes. If we're supposed to go back. I don't remember. Oh! <gasps> I'm out! Which means that I can't use the stealth guns anymore. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Yes! The Super Dragon! Thank oh Lord! Oh Lord! Thank you for this bountiful gift I have received. Thank you for the massive Super Dragon with its large clip size and its heavenly grenade launcher capability. What is this, by the way? Uh, okay, light control system. Uh, I don't think I need to do that right now. Uh, technician's disguise. Can access to... Okay. Okay. And I don't think we're supposed to kill civilians. Like the researchers. Uh, that was locked. Alright. Intruder alert. Oh, wait. Oh. I already have a disguise? No. Then why did you say imposter? Huh? Hey, Raptor ZX4. Welcome to the show. Welcome. Hope to see more of you in the future. So, oh. Hold on. I think this is... Yeah, these are doors. What? Oh, you... And of course... Oh. Oh. Alright. Yeah, this is... That's not never gonna open, I think. But I think you're supposed to be able to get inside here. I don't know if it's... A priority now we're just doing agent agent um, twitch machine got unplugged I had to reload twitch oh okay okay well you didn't really miss anything I got shot basically <laughs> whoa 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 yeah well you know what holy shit holy shit holy shit oh no 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 Okay, okay. First of all, we need to take care of that one. Thank you. Now, give me your lab coats. Uh, I think I'm just supposed to knock them out. Come on. Okay, that was a little, a little over dramatic. <laughs> uh Come on. Yeah, that was a little more believable though. Um All right, it's good that you uh uh inform me like give me feedback uh, regarding the stream. That's always appreciated. Um if anything should be uh like if you could if you would uh, if you encounter like bufferings or lags or whatnot, that's that's good to know too. Um, like this is always like a work in progress. Uh, oh, okay. Open. Leave this area now. No. Really? You're gonna fight me, and I'm. I'm carrying. An assault rifle. You're gonna take me. What? That's unbelievable. You bitch. <laughs> I did not remember them actually saying the the B word. You know. <laughs> uh, I'm supposed to get a disguise. I don't remember where to get one. No, 
that's locked, and I've been there already. The only way, the only possible uh, place must be like over here. <clears throat> so, guys, where are you all from, by the way? I always like to ask that of my, of uh, like new viewers and such. Ah, uh, hope this is it. Oh, this is locked. Okay, okay. Oh, Montreal. Okay, okay. The temperature's dropping. You must be close to the cryo room. Understood. Wait, so... Okay, the cryo room. Okay, so... This... This place over, like... Over here... Is where I will get the disguise then, I hope. Nebraska, alright. Cool, cool. You guys in the Western Hemisphere. Alright, give me the give me the disguise now. So you got here at last. Hey, you're not uh security alert. Medical bay six. Captain Santiago. Go to medical bay six. Okay. Question. I thought Uh, let me see here. Find the lab to... Okay, use it to get past the security. Well... Alright. Um, in my defense, I did not really... I mean, it could have been either... Uh, either location, so... I guess we're gonna have to redo this from the top. Um, yeah. Because now we're not going to be able to... Let me just see... Yeah, I'm going to, alright? Come on, man. Here we got a tranquilizer. I think... Oh, Jesus. I just want to see where that disguise is. Before I... Abort the mission. Yeah, I think actually you're supposed to. You're supposed to uh, look just like them. These. Uh, what's the point of being able to raise these uh, containment units? There's nothing in them. At least I don't think so. Unless it's like another objective of the uh, higher difficulty. Alright, alright. Check this place as well. So guys, what are your plans for today? I'm guessing it's uh it's early over there or earlier. Uh over here it's actually seven forty PM. I think I've played multiplayer of this game one hundred times more than six. I agree. I, you know what, I actually did that without even playing it with anybody else. I mean, playing it against the bots, even that was amazingly entertaining. Okay, there's nothing here. Maybe you're supposed to destroy the container units when, uh... No, seriously, where... Where's the disguise? Oh, okay. Hold on. No, we came from that direction, right? Um, we we'll never let the Sims get a hold of the Super Dragon. <laughs> I know. Okay, actually, I have forgotten where you get the uh, disguise. Less. No. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. 
Now, I remember, like, when the internet wasn't that loaded with walkthroughs, you actually had to figure these things out yourself. And... What? I just... There was no one... So now I'm... Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I have no idea where I got the lab code from. Um, and I'm guessing I can't do anything here. Now, because it's been... It's failed. Right? You're not gonna... You're not gonna open the door, right? Ah! Fine. We'll do it again, then. I just don't know where I got the lab technician disguise from. It's so weird. So weird. Meet Sims, the reckless and suicide. The problem you have is that there is no way to sneak into the research section. Oh, there is. Don't worry. Alright, you know what? We're just gonna blast everything here. Come here. Try to do this a little faster this time. Uh, okay. It was all the way in the corner. No, no, thank you. Yeah, I remember when, when, uh, when I played this, like, when I really played it a lot, um, you became, eventually you, you got so fast, you just basically ran around killing things people uh, within us within the span of a few seconds like a whole room could be cleared um, and then of course which I talked about a little bit earlier uh, you have the CMP 150 with which uh, has a secondary mode which completely makes the primary mode just completely unnecessary. Um, the follow lock-on. Alright, never mind. Thank you. Alright. Kill them all. Now, this game isn't like your Call of Duty or your Battlefield or whatnot. Like, here, you don't really need to go for that much cover. <laughs> you know, uh, these games were a little bit simpler. <laughs> like, you could actually run and gun and remain pretty safe. Uh, unless you were doing it on, like, a very high difficulty. Which is nice, because I'm not necessarily a hardcore uh, FPS player in the least. Um, Alright, come on. Close the door. Close it, close it. Might as well plug a few more of my... Uh, of my uh, uh, gaming series. Uh, Thursday, we're gonna do, uh, we're going, every Thursday we do uh, Blizzard Classics, where I uh, revisit old uh, Blizzard games. Right now we're doing, we're actually going off a little bit here when we're, I, usually I wanna be as authentic as possible, but this time we're doing StarCraft and this time we're doing the, rem the remastered version because I actually have never played it so I wanted to buy it and play it for myself uh, and I figured let's you know kill two birds with one stone so I might as well stream it 
so Blizzard Classics every Thursday and uh, every Friday we're doing Full Motion Friday which is a web series dedicated to video games loaded with full motion video sequences and the, yes the cheesiness is strong with that one right now we're doing uh, Star Trek Starfleet Academy which is actually a game I have never played before before this so we're, tr we're kind of trying to find our way around that one um, and every Sunday we do 8-Bit Fun Day, which actually followers can uh, um, let me do this if I can do that. Hold on, hold on, just a second. Just a second. Yeah, I know. Screen looks like crap right now. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna do this. RPS. No, not the IRPS. Uh, stream boss. There we go. So that's how we do. <clears throat> so yeah, um, followers and viewers and whatnot can actually. Uh, be eligible to uh, pick the game. Right now, we have no. Uh, well, we do have a stream boss like down here, uh, but we have already uh, expended our uh, requests. So, the next stream boss who kills off. Who is it? Like seen it? No, it's. Oh, it is seen it. I think. Uh, will be eligible to to uh, uh, pick a game. <laughs> someone hit her. Just please, someone hit her. Oh, they actually complied. There we go. Ah, no, don't. Crady, crady. Oh my lord! No, I don't. I don't care about you anymore. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Good. Alright. Holy sh! Where did you come from? I thought I killed everybody up here. All right. So, question is, where can that lab technician uh, outfit be? And how did I get it last time? There we go. Let go. Good. Uh. Alright, let's do this. X-ray scan. And let's just wait until that patrolling guard comes along. Uh, wow. This is, uh... This is not comfortable for your eyes. You know? Ugh. Come on, dude. Never mind. Let's just do this. Alright, hold on. What? Ooh, nice. Super Dragon! Here we go. Come here. Yes! Lab clothes! Good. 
Alright, we don't need to get go that way. Um... Alright. Alright, how do I change... Oh, there you go. I don't think I'm supposed to use uh, weapons. Good. No. Was I supposed to kill them immediately? Hey, that's not Harry. It's an intruder. Me. Right, at least we got inside. There we go. Hey, Freppy! Welcome back, man. <laughs> Thanks for the host my Oh Jesus. I just need to see what was I supposed to do to rescue okay, okay. Nothing else. Oh, hold on. No. Oh, come on. Alright, good, 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 good. How are you, Freppy? Always nice to see you here. What are you doing, and how has your day been? Wait a minute. What was I supposed to do in that lab? Gain access to autopsy lab. Yeah. But, I mean, nothing happened here. I just went in... Didn't do anything. I mean, he's not here. I'm guessing I'm supposed to go to the cryo section. I don't know. <sighs> no, wait a minute. The cryo section didn't contain it. My lower back hurt like hell, but I also... Oh, I'm sorry, Freppy. Why is that? Have you been doing a lot of, like, heavy lifting or something? <sighs> Killing everything you see. <laughs> I'm trying to, but sometimes they kill me. Well, they haven't actually yet, I think. I haven't died once yet, I think. I don't know where I'm supposed. Ah, okay, okay. This is. This is where we're supposed to go. Good. Picked up some sedatives. Uh, I don't know. It's start. Start to hurt yesterday. I'm getting old, maybe. You know what? I feel I felt the same thing uh, sometimes with my back, but I'm a lot heavier than you, so there might be an excuse for me, <laughs> or at least an explanation as to why it's occurring. Um, but if it gets any worse, I mean, you should you should really look that up. Back pains are nothing you want uh, uh, in the future. You know, it can develop in bad ways. Unarmed. Just a beat. Oh, okay. Okay, open, 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 open. Ah. 
Yeah, too much movement is making this, uh, this whole place flicker. Come on. Uh, how do I get it? How do I get, get inside? I don't know. I mean, the door is locked. And there's no way to get inside. Okay, enough with the flickering, all right. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe there's a key card. Hold on, hold on. I need to I need to Google this. I have to do it because I Uh if you can sculpt the world so catch this. Yeah, I suppose. I hope it gets better though. A quick Google. Infiltration. No, that's not it. Next. <sighs> What's the name of this? Uh, A fifty one rescue. Okay, so you get... Okay, okay, I got it. Perfect agent. Alright. Never mind. Paul. Oh, as Joanna will inform you, you don't have much time before disguise is compromised. Quickly head back to the hole you made in the wall and head down the corridor to the left of the hole. I mean, with the crate. No? Oh, head back to the hole. Oh, back when you take cover. Okay, I got it. Uh, be mindful not to fire while wearing the disguise, or you'll out yourself. Keep going to, uh, down the corridor and enter the first door on the right. Make sure you're unarmed as you head to the other end of the room. Through a door, guard will let you in, punch him out, then head towards the opening operating table. A technician will discover you, so your disguise will not work from this point forward. Wait, what? Smash through the glass and take out the man inside to obtain a key card from him. Now you can enter the autopsy lab. Oh. Did I actually miss that? I have to check that before I restart this. I just want to make certain. Oh, my ass. Um... So what have you been up to, Freppy? Today, have you been working? Been a hard, hard working man. I wish there, were, there was a shift button now, so I could actually run faster. All right, let's scour this area and just look, see if there's a, if there's a key card here. That I missed. Lieutenant 
No. There's no key card here or anything. Okay, you know what? I'm actually gonna employ my save state policy so we don't have to do the entire mission all over again one more time after this. We're gonna restart the mission and then we're gonna get up to the point where we've made the hole in the wall and then we're gonna save state. I think the save state is F5 if I'm not mistaken. We're gonna save state just to make sure that we don't have to redo everything every single time. Um, all right. Next time, we're going to make sure to look... We're really going to scour that room and see if we can find a key card. I didn't find anything, though. That is weird. That is weird. The problem you have is that the... Yeah, you've got some problems, too, you mate. Might. Come here. Like we're really unloading on them now. Hey, hey, he dropped a shield. Nice. Just gonna kill everything here on this floor. Might as well use the dragon while we're at it. Oh. She's mine. Na -na -na -na. Na -na -na. Dude, really nice fight on the game. <laughs> well, thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I actually have a list of games that I'm going to go through. Uh, what? Any games in particular you were, uh, you were, uh, um, impressed with? <laughs> oh, are you still alive? Yeah. Huh. Um, oh, there we go. So Freppy, that is Game Tremor. Tr game Tremor, that's his Freppy. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, let me see that. <laughs> Secret of Mana. <laughs> it's interesting that you mention it actually, uh, because it had me ripping out my hair, and I'm actually bald, so. <laughs> That's a feat in it, in and of itself. The last boss, I mean. The last boss was... Yeah, if you, if you ever watch that part where... Uh, the episode which says... This game can go F itself. Um, yeah, I make that clear that this game... You know? <laughs> But then there's the final part where I actually apologize to the game and explain why uh, I was so frustrated and uh, how I actually got around it. Um, let's see. There we go. It was also my very first time of playing that game. So, I mean, I guess some frustrations and and annoyances are inevitable, you know. Uh, with a crazy cat salesman. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I think that should be enough. Right. Hello. Oh. <laughs> you know some Swedish words? Game tremor. Both, uh, both Frappy and myself are are Swedes. Let me see. I just need to. Yeah, we need. Great, 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 great. Uh, the last boss is easy if you know if you know how to do it. Well, or if you if you have actually grinded up like a thousand times your levels. Don't don't get me started on Secret of Mana, okay? I I don't wanna I, I I'm done with that game, alright? 
<laughs> you know? <laughs> that final boss. But I will say, I mean, if you watch the last episode, you'll see, e eventually, it was pretty easy to beat. I, I have to agree with you on that one. Um, it was just that I was so tired. I had been streaming for nine hours. Nine hours plus, I think. And I thought I was close to the end of the game, but it just went on and on and on. And I was like, come on. And then I just lost it. <laughs> when I had to actually do the whole mana fortress all over again. Like with all the bosses, because I thought I was doing something wrong. And then it still turned out that, no, actually, I still don't have a chance. And then it was like, oh, I need... You, are you serious? I need to level everything. Like, at least 20 more levels. Like, <laughs> the grinding in that one. Uh, but, I actually made it. Finally. Um... Oh, Swedish and Norwegian heritage. Cool, cool. You ever played Seiken Densetsu 3D Secret of Mana 2? No, I haven't done that. I'm I'm saving it. <laughs> you know? Play it again on PS4. No. <laughs> oh, the freaking voiceovers, they're god awful. Oh, uh, in the PS4 remake, really? I, I can imagine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, CNET would tell you, he's not online now, I think, but he would tell you that, like, every time he would come online and watch me play Secret of Mana, he was like, yes, this is your favorite game of, ever, of all games, you know? Like, are you playing your favorite game again? <laughs> Just to be a little enjoyably annoying bastard. Uh, did I kill everyone here now? I don't know. Let's just go up top once and see that no enemies remain, you know? Uh, Night supposed to be pushy, ain't he? <laughs> ah! He just wants you. He, he just wants to. Uh, promote my channel as much as he can. <laughs> nah, it's, it's all good. Uh, I actually uh, revised the... Uh, um, oh! The amount of lines needed for the uh, timers to occur. Uh, I might have done... I might have gone overboard because usually there aren't really that many uh, uh, viewers in my chat. Uh, especially who chat with me. Which I enjoy. I enjoy chatting, but a lot of people just tend to lurk, and that's fine as well. Um, so I might, I might redo or readjust the um, um, the timers yet again. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, you know what? I don't care if you are there. Okay, fine. You know what? Let's take care of this guy. like to talk about our Lord and Savior. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's interesting because uh, in my Discord, my Discord channel, uh, I've actually titled myself Lord and Master. <laughs> Just for the hell of it. <laughs> like the only, um, the one role that has like all the privileges, privileges and whatnot is Lord and Master. The other one and, and two I love. Oh, yeah, me too, me too. I did them for uh, Blizzard Classics a while back. It was actually fun to revisit, especially Diablo 1. But I will say, Diablo 2, I had actually never uh, beaten Diablo 2. So that was very interesting to, uh, to go through. And uh, also Lord of Destruction, I had never, never even played. So it was fun to do that as well. Like, that is sort of like the theme with my, uh, with my channel. Um, I aim to, um, 
bring closure to a lot of games that I was uh, that I grew up with, uh, but I never finished for one reason or the other. Uh, or I want to play like uh, games that I never really got to play when I was a kid. Uh, discover there are single player mods and have been playing D2 again. Oh, really? D3 seems very hollow. Uh, that's also a game I haven't played before. I will be playing D3, uh, probably for the stream. Uh, just not now, because now we're into StarCraft. So now we're going da down that road, and that will be the day after tomorrow. BAM! Alright, get the clothes. There we go. Good. Alright, so now we are actually going to... We'll, we'll not leave that uh, room before we get a key card, alright? Oh, right. I actually need to Save state. <laughs> Let me know if you want to jump on multiplayer. I'll be happy to join you. We can do a slow cash playthrough campaign. Uh, you mean D3? Sure. Why not? Uh, but it's going to take some time. I have a, a lot of games to go through before we get to... Uh, oh, shit! <laughs> uh, before we get to that point. But uh, absolutely, absolutely. I'll, I'll tell you when, when that is coming up, so to say. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, time to do that. Now I did have the uh, the outfit on me. Yes. No, I didn't. Oh. I forgot that. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Good. Unarmed. The one I play with is always in a big rush to just get to max level and get up. to join us for games and take the time. Thank you. Thank you! I am just like you. Like, oh, I, you know, I don't want to say I hate uh, speedrunners, because I don't. But, I will say this. I have never seen the point of speedrunning a game. A game, to me, is something to be enjoyed. Not, like, raced through or rushed through to, to like, get the best time. That's... That's like reading a porno for the articles, you know. <laughs> uh, being on for when a game has nothing left to offer. Yeah, I guess, I guess. But when you get to that point, I don't know. I, I think when you get to that point, you're playing the game too much. You really need to take a break from that game because then you've actually sort of distorted the purpose of the game. To me, at least, that's my opinion. Uh, you, you really need to take a break at that point. Um, that's a pretty good. <laughs> yeah, okay. Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's go. Alright, show me the card. I want the card. Where is the card? I'm taking fire! Come on! Finally! Why didn't that happen before? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> I think it's set to, like, every 15 minutes. Oh! Oh, shit. Ah, uh, dragon. Yeah. Yeah, the, the flickering is pretty bad at this point. Uh, I need to... Alright, calm down, game. Don't have a seizure. stops after a while. I don't know why it does why it does this, but there you go. Alright. 
Oh. Oh, he was actually surrendering. <laughs> he tried to reach for the gun, and then I got it before him, and he was like, oh, surrendering. <laughs> and then I shot him. Uh, <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> 15 schmeckles. All right, so we got the key card. Now we should be able to get inside the room. Let me just save state here just for the sake of it <sighs> like if I don't need save states I try to avoid them uh, since this is an emulator they are available but I don't want to overuse them I do have an uh, sort of like an official save state policy on my profile page which you, which you can read up on um, like kind of details how I'm reasoning how my reasoning goes um, so I try to avoid save states, like in in uh, for instance, if we say if we if we're talking about a platformer like a, a side-scrolling stage, and we're with like set levels, I usually reserve save states for at the beginning of every level and at the beginning of every boss fight. Like I don't want to use it any more than that. So at least you retain some sort of legitimacy, you know. Um, Recommend you try Wing Commander Private Tier. All time favorite game. All time favorite game. All time, really? Oh, okay, okay. You know what? I actually bought Neverwinter Nights today. I have played it a little bit before, but I've never finished it. Uh, I bought what's called Neverwinter Nights Diamond. I think. I think that's like the whole package. Also, I did buy. Uh, Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, the enhanced editions. Those are games I've never I never played, but I've he I've heard only good things about them. So it's going to be interesting to play them at one point. Uh, I really like uh, RPGs. RPGs are right up my alley. Or down my alley. Uh, there we go. Now... I will say this, there's a certain amount of interactivity in my channel when it comes to uh, some RPGs. Every spring I do something called the IRPS, which is the Interactive Role-Playing Stream, and uh, Freppy knows about it. Uh, <laughs> last time we did uh, XCOM Enemy Unknown, we all died, unfortunately. But uh, it goes like this, if you're a follower you uh, will have the opportunity every time I do the IRPS to actually um, design your own character through me like you uh, you tell me what you want to look like then you get your own personal character on the squad and as we play you direct the action like you direct your character so and that was very fun that was very very interesting a lot of people uh, wanted to uh, to take part in it and uh, uh, it was it was pretty interesting, especially when you had your character leveled up to that point that you actually felt sort of a connection with the character. And except for Fartnogger, he always died constantly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so if you want to take part of that, uh, just uh, be sure to uh, be here come spring. But Frappy, we're not gonna do XCOM this time. I have another game in mind. So, but what game that is, it's going to remain secret for now. But, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Uh, you have to have a good understanding of D&D builds to be successful with Neverwinter Nights. Yeah, I figured, I figured. Uh, it's a very uh, uh, D&D-heavy uh, game concerning the roles and whatnot. Crazy monkeys. Alright, hold on. Was he actually adjusting his underwear? It kind of looked like it. <laughs> no, not XCOM 2. Freppy, I'll say this once and for all. We will not be doing XCOM 2 until we beat XCOM 1. That is a given. That is a rule. Okay? So, if we go back to XCOM 1, we're still going to do XCOM 1. Because we need to beat that first. Alright? Good. <laughs> like, I'm all about the consistency. Like, the... the uh, uh, we need to go from 1 to 2 to 3. I spoke uh, earlier today with a friend of mine on the phone, and he was like, 
dude, I, I've played, I've played all the Assassin's Creed games, but I've never beaten any one of them. Like now, I'm in one, two, and three at the same time. I'm playing them. And I'm like, dude, maintain consistency. Beat the first game, then the second game, then the, th you know, like, ah, I can't, I can't. The temperature's dropping. But that might be just nit nitpicking, you know. But still, I have a mild case of OCD, so I have to have everything in order, you know. <laughs> XCOM Terror of the Deep. Actually, um, Terror of the Deep is the original, it's part of the original series. And what, X, uh, what uh, Freppy is referring to here is uh, uh, the uh, XCOM Enemy Unknown, like the new ones, the newer... Um, that were released in 2011, I think. Uh, that consistency is why I hate... Oh, you hate Mass Effect? The Mass Effect trilogy is probably my favorite... No, not the favorite... One of my favorite trilogies of all time. Uh, keep starting Mass Effect and then I can't make it all the way through. Why can't you make it all the way through? I refuse to play Mass Effect 2 until I beat 1. Wait, have you have you never played Mass Effect two and three? Uh, shit! I got a game going. <laughs> Jeez, I feel like a maniac just gunning down people heading for the door. <laughs> <sighs> oh, 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 game Trammer 84. If that's true, then you have missed out on something marvelous, I will tell you. If you ever play Mass Effect 2... Jesus. You've also got a problem with consistency, right? I kind of recognize this, <laughs> you know. But why won't you uh, finish uh, the first one? Because I mean, that's that's easily and easy enough to finish. Um, all right, let's save state here. Here we go. All right, so uh, I think we can. Okay. I got the key card. Didn't you did you see me? I got the key card. Oh wait, am I supposed to use like is there a console here or something? Wait, 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 wait. What is go look Med Lab 2 key card, yeah. Exactly. I have the key card. Wait, am I supposed to... Oh, 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 oh! Oh! Wait, wait, that can't be tr That can't be right. That can't be right. Mad la Okay, so it only... Sh it doesn't show everything in this, uh, in this, um, uh, quick menu, apparently. Huh. Uh, I get burnt out, and by the time I come back, I have no idea where within the story I am. God, I recognize that so much. That usually happens to me in games like Skyrim. Skyrim, I have beaten Skyrim, actually, uh, but it's just so... 
it's exactly the same for me. Like, I, I get to a certain point in the game, and then I, like, my attention span fizzles out. I do something else, and then I get back to it after a long while, and I have to start a completely new character just to remember everything that I was doing. I know exactly what you're feeling. I know exactly what you're going through. Uh, I've never had that problem with Mass Effect 1, though. Um, I was just so... I was interested in the story. I really wanted to know what was going to happen. Like, what, what was the plot? Like, have you... How long... How far in the game have you gotten? If I ask that. Um, Alright, let's do this. Let's do this correctly now. Properly. Oh! What? Oh, Operation... Operation Room Key Card. Okay, okay. Oh, it was a completely different key card. Up and step away from the alien. Don't make me tell you again, Doctor. And turn that laser off. Ooh. Alright. Awesome. Uh, almost to the matriarch. Also, I have one tiny. But when you when you get to the matriarch, like, was that because you get you uh, you get to the matriarch at Novaria? But I mean. Had you done other planets before Novaria, or was it like the first one you went to? Maybe I have dialogue with some with some opponents. I just had right. I've I've never really noticed that. <laughs> okay. But isn't that, like, a common trait in Bioware games? Didn't that happen, like, in, in Dragon Age as well? Uh, or even Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic? Also, another one of my favorite games of all time. Um, Alright, next mission. A51 Escape. Rendezvous with CI Spy. Locate Secret Hangar. Escape from Area 51. Uh, I know you have questions, Joe, and I'm afraid that this isn't the time to answer them. I can tell you that the little fellow you just re rescued is a Mayan, and he is a bodyguard for the ambassador whose ship was shot down. Other details and background can wait until later. Rendezvous with Agent. Jonathan reports that he's now under suspicion and expects to be arrested in a matter of minutes. Find him before the patrols do. Gain entry to Secret Hangar. Our agent has been unable to get into the Secret Hangar before before because that would have meant blowing his cover but the time excuse me but the time for such worries is past keep the guards off jonathan as he hacks into the door to the hangar where he we suspect an intact mine ship is kept um, escape from area 51 that is get the mine bodyguard to the ship first then you and jonathan get aboard the craft with them and you should be able to fly out past the air defenses you took care of earlier uh, okay yeah, I remember this this mission actually. Um, let me do, well, you're never gonna believe this head shake during dialogue. Okay. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't think. Uh, I don't. I didn't really notice that. I don't think that really bothered me that much. <laughs> I'm gonna have to check uh, check on that next time I play that. <laughs> What the hell do you think you're doing? This is supposed to be a sealed room. Don't you know anything about autopsy procedures? I don't care much for procedures. Ooh. Director Easton will hear about this young lady. You can't take that. It's government property. This is intolerable. It's, it's unprofessional. Let's see how that overconfident thief deals with our gas defense system. She'll think twice before messing with me again. What's that noise? Can't be. Gas! <laughs> no! That wasn't meant to happen! This is 
they got serious pro serious issues with the plumbing there, or the piping. Like. <laughs> Alright, so... Idiot. We'd better get out of here. Alright, we need to run out of the room. Yes. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Stop the seizuring. You're in grave danger. They flooded the area with nerve gas. There you go. Good. Get away oh. from the containment lab. There's a hiding place there. Alright, I know where to go. I'll you when you get there. Good luck. I found it. Stop with the seizure. Oh, I think I think it was actually because. Uh, uh, wait. Nope. I think it was because of the gas. Oh, come on. Now I don't really know if this is the right way. I don't remember if it was, if it is, but I'm gonna go here anyway. I think. No, it's the other one. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, you never played the Mass Effect series either, Raptor? <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> I thought everybody had. Uh, permission to post a link? Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, how do you do that? I'm not really that uh, tight with uh, Twitch controls and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect dark, please. P pull, pull, lose that Elvis. Yeah, this is Elvis. Not the Elvis, but Elvis, nevertheless. Come on, open. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I wish Fart Knocker was on. He could have given you permission. I think. Like, mods. Mods can do that, right? Okay, I think this is the way. Uh. Should be, oh. Permit game tremor 84. Alright, sure. Why not? Uh. Hold on. Let's try, let's try that out, shall we? And yes, I know the game looks like crap right now. It's just because we're outside the game. Uh, Alright, let's see. Permit. Game Tremor 84. Unrecognized command. Permit. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. Didn't really work. Game Tremor... Maybe I need to spell it out with uh, uh, capital letters. I don't know. Permit. Oh, right, 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 right. Sorry. <laughs> Game Tremor 84. Did that work? Permit Game Tremor 84. No. Weird. Huh. All right. Well, uh, um, maybe we can do that uh, later on. <laughs> what was it about, though? Uh, um, tell me in the chat. <laughs> Did he say he had a hot... Wait, maybe we're supposed to bring them up. Oh, can't do that, actually. 
Not this one. Not this one. Hmm. Okay. I'm glad this isn't on a timer. Ah, come on. There we go. Oh, maybe... Ah. No, that's where I came from. There might be... This door might be open, though. Oh, it was! Nice. Okay, I think we're on the right track. I don't want to shoot elves. This is actually spoiling. Good work, Joe. Uh, we need to meet up. They're getting suspicious of me. Use the maintenance hatch I've opened in one of the containment labs. Hurry! Confirmed. Time to hook up with Jonathan before he gets into any more trouble. Yeah, sure. How do you? How do I? Huh. Well, yeah. Oh, I'm supposed to go back. Okay. 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 Um, uh, I'm going to stop watching. <laughs> that's great that's great news great news um, I don't know I, s I set up Nightbot to be I mean when I set it up I was a little bit uh, not paranoid but like cautious um, just because I've he I'd heard like all the rumors about uh, trolls and whatnot and scammers and things like that where did he say I was supposed to go? I'm just gonna go... Okay, hold on. Oh, really? Uh, it's gonna just have those blocked away. Blocked anyway. Yeah, I was... Oh! Okay, that was the wrong way. Um... Yeah, I just... I prefer to be, uh, Like, better safe than sorry, you know? Oh. oh, not, not a cat. I don't know why the flickering occur. It's not really necessary. Come on, stop it. Nobody knows trolls better than Norwegians, and you're pretty close to them, so I should be immune to Twitch trolls. I know I I don't think uh, I don't want to jinx it, but I don't think I I haven't really experienced any trolls, thank God, uh, because you know why I I think it's because people who watch retro games are usually I'll say usually uh, more mature in that way that they don't they don't really get any enjoyment from trolling anymore, unless they're very special people. Um, but they kind of, and and they, I don't think they want to ruin the fun of yeah, watching uh, their their favorite games and then like trolling at the same time. That uh, smell, oil. I smelt that in the other hangars. Maybe there's an engine close by. I don't know. Is it not playing Fortnite? <laughs> Uh, I'll say that immediately, like, Fortnite, PUBG, Overwatch, like, all those games. Again, I don't want to say I hate them, but they are definitely not my style. I avoid, like, MOBAs and all of the modern, like, multiplayer games. Mainly because this channel is dedicated to retro. And also because... I, I just don't like those games. Uh, I had something to say on a stream that I've been watching for years. I was looking for a new game to play. The premise was that it had to be on the top 10 most watched games on Twitch. Okay. It's a little bit obvious uh, fishing for views. You know? You made your a lot of people say, or like claim, that they don't stream for the views, and this is going to sound very cliche, but I actually don't. 
I had a guy uh, this Sunday in my uh, in my stream um, in the chat who actually said it was so sad to see me put in so much effort for only nine viewers and I was like dude I'll make a fool out, out of myself for one viewer you know it for me it's not really about the amount of views it's just it's just the fun you know <laughs> Uh, it was like he's still not screwing my long time viewers. Yeah, I know. No. You know, I make a, I, I'm, I, I try to make a good presentation of the game. Uh, overlays and all that. I, like, all of this I've designed. And also, like, the thumbnails and whatnot. I, I really go through painstaking uh, processes to make this as presentable as possible. But I don't necessarily, like demand views because of it. I want it to look nice, but as long as I enjoy the wrapping, the gift, so to speak, I mean, people are welcome to come and watch. I don't... I don't feel like uh, there's any demands put forth. I don't want to do that, you know. Uh, I will become super chatty if there's just one... Minute. Yes! Me too! Me too! I don't care. Like, as long as there's somebody there, you know? Joanna, over here. Ooh, I was so close to shooting him. We need to get back to our friend. Yeah, sure. Can we go this way? I don't remember. Come on. Other than it's just me talking to. <laughs> you know what? You're like me. You're exactly like me. I I'm just talking to myself as well. I think I did that for the first like. 10 minutes of this stream, this stream right now, I was just talking to myself, maybe 15 minutes, I don't know, um, but also, I kind of feel like that, that makes it easier for viewers who are watching the highlight, like the recorded episode, I kind of feel like I'm talking to them who watched the episode uh, in hindsight, so I don't really necessarily feel that I'm talking to no one, um, uh, though you're braver than I am. Oh, why? Nah. Can't believe that. You sound like a brave guy. Okay, there's nothing here. Oh, you... We have to go back. Really? Oh, camera shy. Oh. Well, that's okay. You don't have to have a camera, you know. There are a lot of people who stream without a camera, I've, I've uh, seen. And also, I don't have a camera, for example, uh, attached to my PS4. When I stream PS4 games, then I actually don't have a camera. I have been thinking, I, I kind of want to have a camera, but I don't have one right now. And also, it kind of feels good to be, just be able to sit without the pressure of, you know, oh, I'm being watched. At the same time, I feel like cameras are... A positive because it kind of gi gives you that personal connection, you know. I use face rig. What's face rig? Uh, I don't recognize that term actually. Whoa! Ah! What was he doing? Like we're near. Come on, me, Joe. Hold on. Uh, uh, it's a silly gimmick that gives the viewers something else to watch besides just me faffing around in a game. <laughs> it's an overlay that... <laughs> oh! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I know what you're talking about. Yes. Yes, I think I know what you're talking about. I uh, One of my... One of my favorite viewers, uh, who doesn't actually uh, stream, favorite streamers, not viewers. One of my favorite streamers who actually doesn't stream that much anymore, uh, Akaksa Gamer. Uh, he actually used that thing. I have to assume it was because he had like a a snowman, an animated snowman in front of him, and I was like, "What is going on here? That's weird," you know. <laughs> Uh, my prof 
Vulture. hilarious. Yeah, that is the one, right? Okay, then I get it. I get it. <laughs> All right. I mean, I guess it could be useful, but I don't know. It's it just feel like weird to me. Like, why even have a camera at all, then? Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. I didn't know you could come from that direction. I forgot about that. Um, now, I don't, I don't think it's anything wrong with doing it. I'm just, like, reasoning. I'm giving my own reasoning. Like, I, w I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. Uh, but you go ahead. And everybody else go ahead. I mean, more power to you. Oh. Oh, hold on. Come on. Come on. Stop it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Thanks for tipping me off where you were. Like, there's nobody here. My gun! Oh. Idiot. I think we need to, uh... Yeah, we need to do something here. The console is not active. But we need to do something with this console then, I think. Maybe. Uh... Hold on. What the hell? Stop it! Where are you? is firing. Oh, that guy. Ah, there you are. Good. He's awake. I'm alive. I thought I'd be chopped up like the others by now. You're from the Institute, aren't you? I recognize you from before. You helped me. Thank you. You... you speak our language? Watch her, she's sharp. What's wrong? I have a headache. And with a head this big, that's no joke. <laughs> Can you walk? We must leave before they get organized on Hunter's Dam. I think so. What's your name? I'm Agent Dark. Or Joanna, if you'd prefer. Well, Joanna, I'm Protector One. But you can call me Elvis. You can call me Elvis! Uh, it's a security thing for me. Yeah, I guess. My name kind of comes from the fact that I tend to get tremors from time to time, and I don't want people to ever watch that because it's pitiful. Oh, okay. My favorite yet most hated characters in this game. Oh really? <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, oh! I know what you're gonna say. Because his head is all always in the way. I get into that as well. Like he's always in the way, and I shoot him constantly. Right, okay. Uh, we need to open the door, guys. Single-seater. Two can get in, but no more. It's the only way out of here. Plus it's got no style. You know what I'm saying? You're the only one who can fly it, Elvis, so get in. One of us will have to stay behind and open the hangar doors. But we can't leave you behind. There must be a way out of here. I'll get out on that hover bike. Now cover me while I open the doors. Play the hero, play the hero. Alright, I'm just gonna make sure that no pe no one is following him. Oh! Alright, what was I just saying? Oh, 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 oh.
Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This is interesting because I actually specifically remember opening the hangar doors myself. I probably should have done that, like, huh. I guess the mission could play out in different ways. Okay. Uh, can't stand escort missions. <laughs> he wants low. Could it be on a harder difficulty? Yes! Thank you, thank you, of course. We've actually discovered tonight that a lot of things uh, are conditional uh, uh, because of the, uh, on the uh, uh, difficulty. Um, all right, let's do it, guys. Next mission. Obtain this guys. Let's see here. Trent Easton has flown to meet the president at the airbase in Alaska. Preparing for the uh, preparing for the president's foreign visit. Wait a minute. Okay, okay. From the evidence gathered in Chicago, we assume that this is the start of his move against the president, and as such, it must be prevented. Care is needed here in Joanna. There are many innocent people about in the airbase. Only Trent's men or those strange blonde men are viable targets. Remember. The longer that you stay in disguise, the greater your chance of success. Ah! <laughs> I love the stereotype. Um, obtain disguise and enter the base. The stewardess arriving on the cable car is carrying her uniform in her bag. Subdue her and her escort and use the uniform as a disguise to enter the airbase. Remember, these people know nothing of Trent's conspiracy and must not kill. Alright. Subvert security monitoring system. You can fool humans with the disguise, but the security screening system will need a different approach. If it detects the weapons in your equipment, uh, then the alarm will sound and the base will be locked down. Prevent the alarm from being given by whatever means you can. Okay. Uh, board Air Force One. Don't let the plane leave without you. If your disguise is still active, then you should be able to use the docking shuttle to get on board. If not, you'll have to find another way. All right. Get in my belly. <laughs> Here we go. Probably gonna flicker uh, the intro. <laughs> Getting dark in position. Oh, maybe not. I can see the main entrance to the base. And I can just make out the cable car arrival point. Oh, this mission. Excellent, Joanna. That cable car is your way in. Our observer at the lower terminus has spotted a member of the flight crew boarding a minute ago. She is being escorted by airbase troops. I don't have to remind you that... But they're probably innocent of any involvement in Trent's little scene. But I can't shoot at them, even if they shoot at me. What about the NSA agents? I don't know how far the conspiracy has spread through the NSA, but I'm willing to bet that the men Trent has around him here are loyal to him and his plan. You have to get the evidence of Trent's betrayal onto Air Force One and show it to the President. Yes, and protect him from his abductors. Do you have any idea what Trent's plan might be yet? What about those blonde guys? Only vague suspicions, and I won't distract you with those. Good luck. Callington out. Hmm. I will say this. Uh, I remember this mission as not being uh, a particular favorite. I don't know why, but I'm sure it'll come back to me. Uh... Oh, right. Arrows you can actually reuse. Like, except if you hit someone. Of course. Oh, instant kill? Really? Interesting. Oh, they're only sedate and... Okay, okay. Uh, set your Steam friend request. Oh, okay, cool. Except later. Oh! Oh, 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 oh,
Let me see, can I sit subdue her now? I got the stewardess uniform. Oh, this is actually kick ass music. I remember this. Down, 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 down. Well, not kick ass, but interesting. I like it. Uh, oh, shh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm hmm. All right. Let's see. Skies. There we go. Let's go for unarmed. Uh, all right. So, if this works. We should be able to use we should be able to use the disguise for the duration of the mission. Correct? I think so. Hey. I think I remember that. Okay, you know the way from here. Uh no I don't, but I'm sure How oh, things? All right, we're in the base. All right. Hi. So, uh, Tremor, when did you uh, play this game last time? All right. This is such a nod to Goldeneye, in a way. With the plane, with the luggage rack, or the luggage conveyor. You shouldn't have come here, girl. What? <laughs> oh, really? Wow! Awesome, then. Oh, hopefully they're not gonna see. Yeah, 15 years ago. That's the uh, same with me. I don't know if this... I don't remember. Is this the right way to go? Secure the perimeter! Okay. They haven't uh, made me yet. I don't think so. That guy is a good guy-ish, right? Hey, what's up? Hey. Yeah. Move along, move along. These are not the droids you're looking for. Five minutes with that guy in the corner. No, seriously, just leave the room. Ugh. So, possibly we try to knock him out first and then knock this guy out first. Be uh, secondly, because he doesn't have, he doesn't seem to be armed. Uh, those were very folksy whistles. <laughs> I don't remember if that is the way to go. Now let's try it.
Alright, they haven't been alerted yet, right? I did knock him out. And... Okay, yeah. Haha! Korpiklani Fintral Elstar. You like the Finnish, uh, Finnish uh, Growl Metal, do you? I will say, Korpiklani, uh, there's one song that uh, that really has uh, uh, stuck in my heart. Uh, excuse me. Oh, nice. Um, and that is... Vodka! Da -na -na, vodka! Da -na -na -na. Why are you shooting at me? I'm in the disguise. I don't get it. Oh, I don't remember. be able to get in here, right? Nope. Okay. Fine, let's kill them all. Uh... Oh, nope. Get the... Oh, my... Oh, shit! Okay, something... Something tells me that was not what I was supposed to do. Uh, I think I need to read the uh, briefing yet again. Uh, obtain disguise. That was easy. Subvert security monitoring system. You can fool humans. Uh, no, 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 no. It detects the weapons here. And the base will be locked down. Prevent the alarm from being given by enemies. I don't get it. Didn't I shut off the, uh, the monitoring system? Huh. Also, Love and Flames, Ghost, Demo, Porgain, Chill, No Bone, Mess. <laughs> You're just a big consumer of Nordic anything. power metal, are you? I Me too, by the way. Make out the cable car arrival point. Yeah, we've done this. Okay. Can't remember you. <laughs> this game was so long ago, it's nice to watch it again. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, it's nice to get back to it. I have to thank CNET. Uh, he actually requested this game uh, because he's a stream boss. Now, usually we only restrict... Um, we restrict requests to NES games. However, he... I gave him... Oh, come on. I gave him dispensation because that was after Super Nintendo Summer was over. Eh, there you go. Come on, give me the... Oh, you know what? I can actually do this. Horizon scan. Oh, okay. Drug spy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> witchcraft. So if I, once again, if I knock him out. No, 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 no. There we go. Ooh, he didn't see me. <laughs> Matter of fuck reason. Hey, Freppy, by the way, where are you? You're being awfully quiet tonight. Digitized headshots. Headshots. Mugshots of 
people. Hmm. I don't know. Is he going back to his duties? Yeah, he is. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna save here and just read up on this. Uh, let me see here. Uh, Airbase. Alright. Oh, hold on. Airbase. Show me. What am I supposed to do? Because I don't remember. Walk through. Mm -hmm. Enter the base and head down the escalator near the guard. Place the suitcase on the baggage. Oh, that's the. Place the suitcase on the. Oh! Really? So I can quickly run down the adjacent hall. Aren't quick, your weapons will be detected and the alarm will go off. Come to the lodge. Uh, okay, but that's not. Uh... What? staircase at the end of there. Yeah. There will be a guarded computer, activate it, and then get by, get behind cover as transplant goes into action. Oh, really? The other guard in the room will shoot the guard at the terminal. Disarm him. Oh, really? Disarm him and go down the stairs. Be careful. There will be four guards. On. After you deactivate the terminal, if you disarm the NSA lackey before he kills the Alaskan guard, the Alaskan guard will pull out a Falcon 2 and attempt to help you fight through the other NSA guards. Wow, really? I did not know that. There are two ways to get to <laughs> there are two ways to get to Air Force One. The first is through a maintenance ladder at the bottom of the plane. From the bottom of the stairs, go across the hall and down the corridor to an elevator. Probably that one which was locked. After reaching the bottom floor, there will be two guards at the end of the hall. There will also be a laser terminal. Destroy it to cause the lasers to go haywire. Enter the hangar and be wary of the guards in the distance. The lasers will activate and deactivate at set intervals. Uh, you will need to run past them quickly once they're deactivated. After doing this, simply touch the ladder to win. Alright, let's just try it. Let's just try it. Um, no Metroid 2 on Game Boy. Actually, it's 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 interesting how how alike we are because I have actually planned to uh, and yes, I say actually a lot. Um, I have planned to uh, to do uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, AM AMSR. Another no, a, a another Metroid to remake. AM2R, uh, the remake, the fan-based remake um, of the uh, of Metroid 2 to Game Boy. Um, I've been I've been pla I've been wanting to play that one uh, for a long while, and I know I know the official game is out, but I really want to try AM2R. Um, so that'll that's like in the works. Um, oh, right. Good, 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 good. Let's see. Let's see here. Uh, yeah. The NSA guard is gone. Oh, there was a re oh, you didn't know? Yeah, there was a remake of Metroid 2 uh, in the style of uh, Metroid Fusion, basically. Or Metroid Zero Mission. 
Um, so it's not it's not as as polygon based as the the uh, the real uh, remake. Uh, there was a fan remake, basically. Uh, I think they even managed to they they were they they actually pulled the plug on that uh, because Nintendo issued uh, a cease and desist. But I think I think the ge the uh, remake is completed. Uh, and it is available for download. Just, just look it, look it up. Uh, AM2R. Another, it's short for Another Metroid 2 Remake. And it looked really good. I actually want to play that. I really want to play that. Alright, you know what? You go first. We've got a contact! I've got a clear shot! Damn this! Wait, what? What? What are you doing? You're supposed to help me fight! What the hell? Let me see. I just, I just want to see if they, if they, uh, if they. I've got a clear shot. No, you haven't. You're lying. Okay, that. She's mine. That, uh. Uh, the Perfect Dark Wiki was a little bit off on that, on that fact. Apparently, he didn't want to help me, so I just had to take him out. Uh, let's see. I don't understand why Nintendo has such a corn cob stu stuck for the Sundown Giant, but fans enjoying their older out of production games in different ways. <sighs> well, basically, I mean, Nintendo are paranoid about copyright. They're basically the Disney, uh, the, the Walt Disney Company of video games. Um, I mean, you know, they, they try to take everything down from YouTube and they re they aren't happy about Twitch either, although they don't have the authority to, to do anything about Twitch. Uh, I don't really know what the difference is between the two, but, um, so yeah, they, they really don't want that. Instead, they want you to use their streaming service, which will be available for Switch uh, and whatnot. I don't know, probably for a fee or something. Um, but what they don't get is that YouTube and Twitch are such enormous platforms. Like, they're global. So, and th they, they also don't really see it as free... Uh, uh, marketing, which it actually is. I mean, it's it's basically free commercials. It's, but there, are many companies are stuck in that old backwards ass way of thinking when it comes to uh, to uh, company profits. Yeah, exactly. Oh, he was already gone. Wasn't. Oh, good. You know what, guys? Uh, I think this will be the last mission for 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 this time. Um getting a bit, a bit hungry as well. Also, it'll make a nice trilogy if we make uh, one more episode with Perfect Dark next week. Eh. Get back here. There we go. Oh. 
I've actually been streaming for a lot for a lot longer than I usually like my my uh, my standard minimum uh, stream time is usually uh, two hours. Uh, now we're going on uh, three and a half hours, uh, three minutes and six, uh, three hours and sixteen minutes. So that's pretty good um, for a game that isn't like an IRPS. Uh, <laughs> go get some. Yeah, I'll do that as soon as, as soon as this mission is over. Uh, let's see here. Oh, oh, oh. Wait. Let's just blast everything. Oh, they got the Avenger. I don't like the Avenger because of the... Uh, it's a powerful rifle, but it has way too... Way too small clip size. Down, now. I just... Alright. I made it. Let's see. The plane is taking off. <laughs> Nailed it. Yep. Did that. Did that. Alright. So, now we're going back to the, uh, the... I, I really like this. The fact that you could actually go back to home base. And, uh, check out the different rooms and whatnot. That is, uh, pretty cool. And also, I think home base is invaded at one point in the storyline missions. Uh, so it's actually pretty cool that you can walk around here and just look at certain things and uh, check dossiers, or no, uh, technical readouts. You can go over here. There's character Carrington himself. Hello, Joanna. Hiya. Oh, I can't really talk to him. Um, and all, th all kinds of things. You can actually go down and I think to the armory and uh, and uh, practice, like do some target practice and whatnot. Uh, it's pretty cool. And once again, as I said in the first episode, this, in my opinion, is pretty cool as well. Hey. Ah, a star agent. Hi. All these weapons that are on display here are from Goldeneye. PPK, Dostave, Klob, uh, AR, whatever, Assault Rifle, uh, the Kalashnikov, the um, uh, submachine gun, the Deutsche, Don't and the RCP-90. And again, I just f I find that to be a very cool homage to the game which came before it, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it. Let's see, just to make sure. Yeah, okay, everything was saved here. Good. Also gonna save state here, just in case. There we go. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Then we'll do it that way. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna turn off the, uh, the game. There we go. 
Alright guys, that's it. I want to thank all of you. It's been a wonderful time uh, streaming for you tonight. Uh, uh, I want to welcome all of you who are new. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, check out our, uh, the schedule and whatnot and you'll see whenever I'm uh, streaming. Uh, also, uh, next time we will be streaming StarCraft. StarCraft this coming Thursday. So uh, be sure to tune in as we will take on the first missions of the Zerg campaign in StarCraft Remastered. Take it easy, Freppy. Thank you for watching. And Game Tremor and Raptor and all of you other guys, thank you for tuning in and hope to see more of you in the future. Have a great time and I'll catch you later. Hopefully you'll see you soon. <laughs> Have a great night. Goodbye and good night.